Today we're going to talk about spin and precession in NMR. But before you yawn and go to sleep and or go to another video, we're going to do this with a bit of a twist. Well, the big craze at the moment is these little fidget spinners. Now, what we're going to do here is take a piece of thread. tie a slip knot in it and pop it over here and we'll put another knot in here to make sure it doesn't disappear just a minute well, I guess I'm not the fastest at tying knots in the world um, that should hold it nicely, chop off the excess, and then we can just take it off and use it like this, our experiment. When we take a fidget spinner and pick it up like this, then what happens if we take it over to the leg? See, it starts wobbling like that. This wobble is called precession and is analogous to the precession that we talk about in NMR spectroscopy, where a nucleus spins in the magnetic field and wobbles in a specific way at a particular frequency. If we want to make it go faster, then we need to use compressed air. We can spin even faster. We can use a molecule to spin, and in this case we're going to take our tiny fidget spinner, which we call mesitiline, that's trimethylbenzene, and it is only half a nanometer, or only half a billionth of a meter across. Mesitiline is a colorless liquid, as you can see here. We're going to now spin it at 500 million times a second. Okay, now we're going to make up the sample of mesitiline. We'll take five microliters of mesitiline. And then we add some chloroform D to dilute it like we normally do for any NMR sample. And now, we'll put the cap on. And there's the NMR sample, ready to go. Now we have 
mesitalin you see we've got two peaks. This belongs to the methyls and this belongs to the benzene ring, both con relating to the hydrogens or protons in the molecule. Mesitalin has another nucleus that spins called carbon-13 and here we see four sets of peaks. This is the solvent we have it in, but here we see the methyls, the carbons that attach to hydrogens in the benzene ring and the carbons that are not attached to hydrogens. Well, to be honest, it's actually not the molecule that's spinning at 500 megahertz, but it's actually the nuclei inside it, but it's a nice demonstration. Please visit our website, the NMR Lab, and if you like this video, subscribe.